Wakanda Forever is an intimate story about the grief of those who knew and loved T'Challa best, his family and his people. This narrative has a weight that you are choosing to ignore, seemingly because you want to see your favorite whoever in a movie where they do not belong. So I'm going to run down the points that you made, hopefully you'll understand, or just agree to disagree. All the Avengers that went to Tony's funeral actually knew Tony. They lived with him in the compound or at the Avengers Tower. Literally none of the Avengers who are alive know T'Challa. They're not actually close. Except for Bucky, who I will get to in a moment, they are all just co-workers and colleagues at best. The other Avengers never actually had time to get to know T'Challa. The second you put Doctor Strange or Sam, Rhodey, or Scott or whoever in there, the story loses its intimacy. Seeing them pay their respects by being at their funeral adds nothing to the depths of despair and grief that we saw from Queen Mother Ramonda or Shuri. Bucky wasn't there because of the huge amount of disrespect that he played to Wakanda and Bakken and the Winter Soldier. He helped the man that it was possible for Team Chikaka's unalivement to be free, even though it was temporarily. And don't forget, he had the nerve to fight Ayo and the Dora Malaje. Ayo specifically told Bucky that he is not welcome back in Wakanda, and he is the only one of the Avengers who actually knew the child or spent any time with him. To have any of the other Avengers there, it takes away from the story because now we're wondering about the connection between those other Avengers and T'Challa. Also, what are those characters doing or handling the events of their movies and shows that they were just in or going to be in? You know there's a huge subsection of fans that would only care about those cameos and say that they're the only good thing about the movie. We just saw on She-Hulk how Jennifer had to say, don't get it twisted, it's because there are all these cameos, it's still my show. Yet and still, there was still a huge problem with the fans. The funerals for Wakanda and its citizens, period. The cultural significance of this film cannot be understated, and no one else needs to be there. Not to mention the cultural significance of that glorious ceremony that we got to witness. There were probably other memorials off screen we got to pay respects. Remember, this was not a state funeral. There were zero other world leaders, other royalty from any other countries, presence, or anything that came. There was no one there outside of the Wakandan. So agree to disagree if you want to, but this story was not about what King T'Challa as the Black Panther meant to the world for fighting Thanos, but what T'Challa the man meant to his family and his people as a son, as a brother, as a dear friend, protector, and leader.